Hey guys, I'm back with another custom review, another custom that I finished today. This time it is Dakin. I'm not real familiar with this character because I don't really read the comics a whole lot, but to my knowledge this is the son of Wolverine. He doesn't have the adamantium bones, he's got bone claws, so that's why he's got there. He's got the black ninja suit, or dark brown, I'm sorry, dark brown ninja suit in order to get it to look just right. I painted the whole figure black and I dry brushed brown on top of it. I gave him these bandages, these wraps all over. And that's what he has on his new suit, I'm told, by the customer. And uh, I'd made those out of uh, neoprene sheeting that I cut down to the right size. Same thing with the wraps on his hands. Uh, for this head, I used a Professor X head that I modified. I cut a big groove down the middle, put in a sheet of styrene to support the hair, then I sculpted the hair on top of that. And of course it got a full repaint. He's got an alternate head that connects with magnets. They both do. This is the masked head that Dakin has for this outfit. I used one of the XMC Wolverine heads. Then I cut the ears off and I re-sculpted some ears on there and repainted it to look like the Dakin mask. And um, oh, the body is Black Panther for the most part. He's got Wonder Man hands that have been modified. And these are Black Panther feet that have been trimmed down and re-sculpted almost completely to give him the little slipper things. He maintains his full articulation. There's no joint rub anywhere as usual. If you've watched any of my other custom reviews, you know that that's one of my biggest things to watch out for is paint rub. So you're not going to have any paint rub problems with this figure. Oh, I should mention I made the bone claws out of styrene. Then I chipped away it to make it look kind of like worn up or damaged bones. I don't know how well it's going to show up since it's kind of light. But each side has two claws. Customer didn't want the third one that comes out of the middle of his wrist. Not sure if he has it in this version. That might be why he didn't want it. But um, that's what the customer wanted so that's what I did. Like I said I'm not real familiar with the character. But that's him. He's just about exactly six inches tall since it's on the Black Panther body. Yeah, almost exactly. He's got the two removable heads, like I mentioned, that connect with magnets. So, pretty straightforward figure again. Kind of like this character. I like the suit a lot, even though it's relatively simple. It's got a nice, nice flow to it. So, there you have it. There's my custom Dakin figure. That was a commission. He's got the alternate head with the mask. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more reviews and customs coming in the future. And uh, let me let me know what you guys want me to review. If you have anything in mind, let me know. Thanks again for watching. Take care and uh, keep collecting.